Good morning. My name is Ann Sorensen, and I'm a member of the East Woodstock Congregational Church, and I am the youth group director there. Today, I wanted to share some things I've been thinking about the pandemic. It's been really hard on a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. People have experienced job loss, family members have become sick and died, and we've suffered from social isolation, and we've had to give up a lot of things. We've had to give up tickets to plays and comedy shows and graduation celebrations and birthday celebrations and all those things have been really hard to miss. But one thing that I've noticed is I've really enjoyed some of the things that I've been able to do during the pandemic. I've been able to take naps and if you know me you know I love my nap and I've been able to sleep in to six o'clock in the morning and I've only working four days a week instead of six days a week and all those things are really enjoyable. The virus has given me the gift of time. Now I know that sounds really weird because right now some of us are really tired of being home alone and not having much to do but I have been able to keep busy with a lot of things. I enjoy that I don't have to rush from one thing to the next because I have time. I've enjoyed cleaning out closets and pantries. I had some really old food in my pantry. It was rather scary. I've enjoyed working on puzzles with my husband after dinner. We work on the puzzles and we talk and visit and that's because I don't have to rush off to work on my computer for things for youth group or go to a meeting. I enjoy that time with Jeff working on the puzzles. I've had time for extra phone calls. I've talked to my college roommate twice in one month and sometimes we go for months without talking and that's been really enjoyable. I have had extra time for cooking and I like to cook and I've made lots of homemade pizza and normally I don't make this certain recipe that I love because the pizza dough takes six hours to rise so who has time for that when you're busy? I've also had time to listen to audiobooks. I love to listen to audiobooks. You can go to faraway lands from your own house. It's a good way to pass the time while you're working on the boring projects like cleaning out a closet or a pantry. I've also become reacquainted with my art supplies. I've been painting and drawing and making cards and writing letters. All things that I really enjoy doing, but sometimes I just don't have the time or energy to do those things. We have also been playing games on Zoom with our sons on Saturday nights because we're all home with not much to do and that's fun. We get to play some games and laugh and tell inside jokes and that just helps us all feel reconnected. I've also been enjoying walks with my husband. So I feel like in all these moments, the moments that aren't so great and are hard, God is with us. But God is also with us in these enjoyable times. Sometimes when I feel a little bit sad or down or just tired of being home alone, I try to step back and think, what am I grateful for? And what has this time at home given me? It's given me time to reconnect and have time for all the hobbies that I enjoy. So I just want you to remember that God is with you in your hard days and your happy days. <laughs>